Hey everyone, MTAST here, and this is Asta La Vista, baby. She is the Terminator of Honkai Star Rail, one of my favorite units right now, and she is way more OP than you might think, and you can make her do thousands upon thousands of damage while speeding up your team, while shredding the shields of the enemies, uh, while boosting up your team's damage. Literal goddess. Literal goddess. And uh, I'm using a level 50 three-star light cone that doesn't work past the first turn. Uh, this character is insane, and I want to talk about her value because uh, there's a few things that you might not recognize. So, let's just go over her skills really quickly, and then I want to talk about how you can uh, juice up your damage to, uh, like, literally tens of thousands if you build her right. So, if you use her skill, um, her talent is very powerful. Her skill hits multiple targets, or the, the same target multiple times, and as targets get hit, you gain stacks, which give you uh, attack percentage for your entire team. So she can buff everyone's attack. It's very powerful, uh, getting that extra attack in the early game, and into the late game, it's going to scale even better with your light cones. But this skill, hitting multiple times, does a few things. Number one, it shreds shields. Number two, gives you multiple hits to proc things like freezes, right? There are, uh, there's multiple different blessings in the game uh, that can freeze targets, that can apply debuffs, that can do damage over time. And having a multi-hitter like that is very OP. It's very, very good. Um, so there's a lot of value in just being able to hit multiple times and by providing that value of the extra attack but her ultimate giving you more speed is amazing. And if you get Eidolon 2, she's OP. Let me explain. Eidolon number one gives you one more hit on a random enemy, which is perfect for all the stuff I said before. Number two, when you use her ultimate, her charge stacks won't go away during the next turn. So you get a couple on this turn, you use her ultimate, get a couple more, and all of a sudden, you've got like 40 or 50% more attack on all your units, and it's pretty much indefinite. If you're like me and you're not getting enough vegetables, you're not getting enough vitamins, check out AG1. This is a daily nutritional drink that you can throw into your morning routine. You can take it on the go in your shaker, whatever way you want to enjoy AG1. This is going to be a great benefit for your health. AG1 promotes better health by filling some of the gaps in your diet, and it comes in an easy powder form that you can enjoy with a nice fresh taste. It promotes good gut health, it can help support your immunity system, as well as boost your energy and help with recovery. So what are you waiting for? AG1 can be shipped right to your door, and if you click the link down below, you can learn more and order yourself some AG1 today. Better yet, if you use my link to purchase AG1, you can get yourself a one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2, as well as five travel packs to enjoy on the go. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into the content. Now, I don't think most people understand how overpowered break effect is. I might have to do an entire video on this, but you can do tens of thousands of damage with break effect if you stack it. And as soon as I push into Trailblazer level 40 and I can farm this one out, I'm going for it. Because either set uh, is pretty good for your support units. Uh, so I'm going to be hunting this down as soon as humanly possible. Because there's a few things you can do uh, with Hasta La Vista uh, that is just, it's just amazing. So number one, this set I didn't think was going to be that great. But I noticed she was breaking a bunch of shields. So I threw it on her. This is an option if you want to do some damage with her. Um, the break effect to, that's just built into it and this energy generation is awesome because she is going to be breaking uh, a lot of shields. And you get a bonus multiplier when you do it. So if you look at stats, if you look at your more stats and you go down here to break effect, this is kind of like swirl or, or like a hyper bloom proc. It's a, it's a flat amount of damage that gets added on top when you break the shield. And I was looking at my, my character, and she was popping shields and doing like 2,000 damage. And I was like, what's going on here? 2,500 damage. I was, I'm just lost at how she's hitting so hard. And, and that's why. As for building her, it's early game. You're not going to have all the options. But if you want her to be hitting like a truck and providing as much value to your team, I think that the Thief set is going to be best with this break effect. And then there's a couple things you're going to want to look for. So... Helmet, 
and gloves. They're set stats. You can level these up. It's going to give you some free value, but you want to look for break effect and speed. That's what you want to stack as much of as you can, uh, so you can turn cycle as many times as you can. Now, on the chest piece, I don't have one to show you, but you can get break effect as the main stat. Now, if you want to go tanky with defense or HP percentage, you can. But I would go into the break effect on the chest piece, uh, and I'll show you why in a second here, but I think that that is the, the main stat you want to get. And then the boots, you probably want it like a, like a speed boot. You could go tanky again, or, or like I guess you could go attack, but I think you'd want a speed boot so that you can cycle through turns as many times as possible. Now, um, these uh, spheres, they're typically used for things like damage boosting, uh, but for the most part, if you wanted to build a tanky piece, you could, uh, because I don't believe you can get break effect on the sphere. And then on the link rope, uh, you can get break effect. So chest piece and the link rope, you get break effect. All the other pieces, you want speed and break effect. And all of a sudden, your character is going to be shredding shields and hitting like a truck. An absolute monster um, in the streets and between the sheets. Now, Eidolons... Um, they definitely matter, you know, I kind of mentioned before, but number two is pretty much as far as you need to go. Like, if you're thinking, should I buy her out of the shop and get more? Not necessarily. Um, if you wanted to go and get one copy if she's in the shop because it's going to give you E2 or something like that, you could. But beyond that, I don't think it's worth ever doing that. Some of these are, like, pretty basic and I just don't think you need that much the energy regeneration is fine but there are situations where you're turn cycling so much that like you can't boost up your team's speed anymore right uh and then this one here I, like I don't lose my stacks anyway so I don't need I don't need this that this is like a must build and I think many of you have but you haven't realized how good she is now I don't have a good light cone here's another thing that I do need to discuss with you guys there is a uh, a break effect light cone that you can throw on and, and get 56%. Also, when you attack, you generate energy. This is insanity. I hope that I can get Memories of the Past. Um, I don't know if this is only from Gotcha or where you get this, but Memories of the Past can be insane on her. Um, Carve the Moon, I believe, is from the Gotcha as well. Very, very solid right there. If you want to check that one out. Dance, Dance works. Uh, it's it's pretty good because you can alt and then boost everyone forward. And then Past and Future is fine as well if you want to uh, boost up your, your uh, next ally's attack and get 32% more uh, damage. Very good as well. Super good as well. But I'm actually going to be hoping and hunting down this one because I want my, uh, my Oster La Vista to do like 200,000 damage. Uh, that's my hope. I'm, that's my prayer. So that's pretty much it for me. I don't have much more to say. Consider it. Consider it. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.